Hi, Art Kurtz here, and this is Easy Access Math. And today, we have some more review with simplifying a radical expression. Here's a number in a radical, and we're going to break it down. We're going to simplify it. So, just to review, if you had any of these perfect square numbers in a radical, the answer would simply be the, the square root. So, 3 times 3 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3. But when you have a number that's not on your perfect square list, 147 isn't, uh, you could still often break it down if there's a perfect square in there. Now, 147, that looks like a terrible number, but if you take your time and look at our list, and divide each of these numbers into 147. Try 25, it won't work. Try 36, it won't work out to a whole number. You'll get uh, a number with a lot of decimal points after it, a decimal point in a lot of decimal places. But if you try 49, 49 goes into 147 three times. So I could have three, and 49. 3 times 49 gives me the 147. Now I could simplify that because the 49 part can come out as its perfect square root. And the square root of 49 is 7. That's what comes out. The 3 part does not have a perfect square root. Uh, so that stays in. Okay, and that's your answer. 147 in the square root, the square root of 147 simplified is 7 radical 3. 7 on the outside, radical 3 on the inside. And that's how you simplify a radical expression, a radical number that is not a perfect square.